Hi. And what is your name? My name's Katie ASMR. You can check out my passport. Okay. And I'm seeing it does say Katie ASMR. Just gonna verify that this is a real passport. My fake one. Okay, and smile for me. Okay, and have a more neutral face for me. I look like vaguely pissed off. Yeah, okay. Okay, Miss Katie, and where are you coming from today? I'm coming from the great state of Illinois. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. And where are you flying to? I'm going to Portland to do an art exhibition. Oh, what kind of art exhibition? Modernist art, abstract art, art deco, oh. mid-century art as well will all oh. be featured. And oh. it's, a, it's a deposition oh. and an exhibition, and also it's an art gallery showing. You sound very passionate about this. Only an exclusive number of individuals are, are invited, individuals like me with an artistic mind and a discerning eye. I write blogs about these things, so I'm going to be reviewing I can sense each that. piece. Oh. Mm -hmm. Based on your attire, I, I get a sense that you are a sophisticated soul. I like to dress like how I feel. Can't argue with that. It's so chilly that I'm happy to bundle up for my job today. Sometimes you just got to get a sweater and roll. You don't look very professional. You know, that, since I work for airport security, I think that's okay. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and process this. We'll be right back with you. Mm -hmm. This is egregious. I've never been made to wait this long. Oh, Katie, 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 Katie. I have some not excellent news. We are going to be doing a full pat down on you today. Yeah, this passport came up with some red flags that I'll keep to myself. I don't know what you could be possibly talking about. I have a pristine record. You know, based off your really warm energy, I can probably believe that, but we're still going to have to pat you down anyway. I appreciate your choice of attire. I understand that it's a resistance to the corporate culture, but I, it also makes me wonder if you're a real TSA agent and whether I need to submit to this at all. You know, you do actually. If you see my security guy over there in the corner, I'm happy to bring him over if there's any issues that we're having. And now, are we going to be having any issues? I would not like the security man to come over. I thought you might say that. I would so, like him to stay far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's waving. You can wave back. You can smile. Yeah. You, okay. So I'm going to hold on to this for you. I'm going to ask you to put your bag just on the ground over there, and then I'm going to go ahead and begin inspecting your jacket. I'm not pleased with this. I can tell. Okay. And jacket, please. This is demeaning and below my caliber of class and existence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold this, please. Great. This is a very nice material. All of my clothing is top-notch material. I believe it. You have a very strong personality. I feel like that represents itself in these clothes. That jacket was sourced from the Netherlands. Oh. Is this genuine leather? Of course it is. Now what innocent animals had to die to bring you this jacket? All creatures on earth must suffer in the name of art in wow. their own way. Oh. That is a bold statement. Making sure it doesn't smell of any gasoline or Exploding fluids? No, of course not. Do you have anything in the pockets that you would like to inform me about now? No. That I'm not aware of. Mm -hmm. 
did you buy this jacket for yourself? It was a gift from a very successful artist who also lives in Portland. There's no tiny bombs waiting to fall out of this with a good old shake. I would appreciate you stop manhandling my jacket, man. I'm just gonna manhandle the inside really fast. It's a piece of art that's also a part of me. So when you scrape the jacket, I feel you scraping my soul. But you can make a little song with it. That's art too. I just like your artistic taste in music and the song that you're making. You know, I know it's going to be stuck in your head on the flight. No, no. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to take a peek inside the pockets to make sure. Nothing dangerous inside. No tiny hamsters waiting to bite my fingers. Tiny hamsters. Wouldn't be the first time that a tiny hamster has been waiting to bite me in the jacket of a, of a wonderful customer such as yourself. Must have been upsetting. It was. But then I got to keep her afterwards and I named her Chelsea. Alrighty. Now I'm going to take a look at your scalp. You can go ahead and stand right there. Must I? Yes. Good. Now I'm just going to take a look, make sure there's nothing in the hair, even though it is very lovely and very beautiful. Look, I don't see any lice or any very, very, very small hamsters. Of course not, I keep my hair pristine and hamster free. Mm. Wouldn't be the first time I've seen a very, very, very small hamster in someone's hair. Ma'am, what is it with you me? and hamsters? You know, they find me. It, it's, it's the call of the wild, but in the airport, it's the call of the hamster. I don't have words for this. Me either. I'm just processing it day by day in my therapy. But I also got to keep that hamster and named him Jim. So now I have Chelsea and Jim. Ma'am, how many hamsters do you have? At this point I have 16, actually. Maybe I'll have as many as the Duggars one day. Like as many hamsters as they have children. Yeah, you get it. Yes, I understand. Yeah. Now we're going to do a pat down of the upper body. If you wouldn't mind just being generally more relaxed. Okay, I just need you to like unclench everything. It's impossible for me. You know, we have to do things out of our comfort zone sometimes. Isn't that what art is about? Breaking outside of the, the box. I suppose. This is very nice material, very fancy. Of course, only that this was sourced in Bulgaria. Oh, well, my, my. By Bulgarian fashion monks. Oh. Are all of your clothes that fancy? Of course they are. What do you wear to the gym? Nothing less than what I'm wearing now. Oh. sure that there's no hamsters lying under the skin or really any other creature. Ma'am, I hate to ask this so early in the pat down, but are you yourself a hamster? You know, I ask myself that every day in therapy. If, if 
hamsters just start crawling out of my ears, then, then that's when I'll know. They're crawling out of your ears? That hasn't happened yet, but I have dreams of it, actually. It sounds extremely uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. Okay, now you can relax. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing hiding. Have you ever bonded to a pet, Miss Katie? Maybe? I have a sphinx cat at home. Oh. Do you put little clothes on it? No. The artistic beauty of the sphinx cat speaks for itself. Oh. I do sit at a cross for me at dinner time, but I have a little gobble of wine. Oh, that and sounds like sauce. a very fancy lifestyle that this feline is having. She appreciates me. I've always wanted a naked cat, and I want to name it Dobby after the Harry Potter elf mm -hmm. who looked kind of like a Sphinx cat. Do you think you have enough hamsters on your hands, man? But a cat would not be a wise purchase at this point. That is probably an accurate assessment. <laughs> Make sure these are authentic nails. Of course they're authentic nails. They're sourced in... Um, Thailand. Oh. Gotta make sure there's nothing hiding under the nails. Like a really, 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 really small rat. Okay, you can relax and you can turn around. Okay, I'm just gonna move your hair. I don't know if there's any critters under that, that shirt. This is sound I'm scampering. I don't affiliate with hamsters, rats, or any world except the time to me. Sorry to disappoint you. It's just a tiny bit of a disappointment, so thank you for your apology. or scampering or anything under this shirt. read the joy in your eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and move down to your lower body. If you must.
bump up the groin. And move up the groin. Okay, now you can turn around. Sides of any bombs, sewing into the skin of your legs. So I'll never do such a thing, ma'am. I'm more worried about my art. Yeah, my art is hamsters. I can tell. Yeah, it's very I think about them a lot at work. So it unsettles me. You've just never known the pure joy of a hamster after it bites you at the TSA. I can't help but think that perhaps you were disappointed that you didn't find a hamster in my groin. You know, it's not too late though, because it might be in your shoes. Gotta pat them like this so that if there is a hamster hiding in your shoes, it, it knows that I'm calling it. It's a call of the wild, I suppose. Yeah. You pick up a thing or two with the TSA security, let me tell you. I feel like you're not so much clearing me to go through the gate as you are actively hunting for hamsters on my body in person. You know, that is accurate. I'm, I'm glad to have this moment with you. Dear God. And you can turn around. Miss Katie, the moment of truth, as if there were hamsters on your person or not. Time to take off your shoes and socks. All right. No pressure, but if there isn't a hamster, this may take extra long. I don't know what to say, ma'am. There's no hamsters. So please check away. That's so unfortunate. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Well. You just, when I read your energy, I just felt like you had a secret hamster on you. First, I am going to take a look at your shoes. Small light right here, I think. Oh, thank you.
Cranberry stains, please. No. From the no. sole of the shoe. Are you sure you there's no hamsters? It almost sounds like tiny paws. Oh my. Are you fantasizing about hamsters in my shoes? Yeah. This is becoming uncomfortable. Mentally. Well, fortunately for you and unfortunately for me, I don't think there are any hamsters hiding in the shoes. Okay. Oh, I thought today was going to be the day. Now, if you wouldn't mind leaning back against the wall and go ahead and using some balancing skills here to lift up one of your feet. So rest right here on my knee and I can have a look at it. It's not a very professional stance, ma'am. You know, this is how I was sitting when I saw my first little hamster and it really hits, I understand. hits, hits me right in the emotions. I'm trying to recreate the moment of magic. I'm just gonna give her a quick pat. Okay, and then get in here between the toes. And she needs authentic. There's nothing in between your toes. Make sure he's authentic. It's a little bit ticklish, but try and endure. Now we can go ahead and take a look at your bag. And already, you ready for this? I'm ready for this to be over, man. I'm ready for it to begin. little wrapper here. It's not very art of you to not throw this in the trash can. Man, trash is art. Clearly. Okay. Oh, this is a lovely shade. It's a mauve. A mauve. Oh. 
crimson mauve. I like to keep my lips a certain shade. Oh. To complete your look? Yes, my look was very specific. Oh. So sorry. It's my special artistic balm. Oh, would you like to have some? No, I wipe it on all the paintings that I adore. Oh, I'm going to have a tiny amount. Since that was fate telling me that I needed some. I consider this theft, ma'am. You know, theft is my ointment. I hope that it will attract the hamsters to me, like the moths to a flame. You have some hamster issues, ma'am. I'm not giving up hope that there may yet be a hamster inside of this very bag. There's not. We have a very shiny, nice little pencil pouch. Should probably zip that up. We have some. Ooh. Ooh. I find them soothing, man. The sensory brushes. Oh. Do you just. Yes, they provide a nice sensorial massage on the plane. Interesting. Could get behind that. Okay. Nothing too suspicious in here. This looks like notes. Maybe for school, maybe for fun, maybe about art. Yes, that's where I write all my reviews. I transfer to my blog. Let's see. We have a, ooh, a piece of risque clothing. It's a turtle neck, ma'am. It has one sheer sleeve. Oh. It was designed by, by Donatella Versace herself. Oh. It, the, the, the arm exposure of this one sleeve makes it a little bit risque. Sorry that you have hang-ups about the human body. I'm too busy thinking about hamsters. I have thoughts for nothing well, else. Yeah, clearly. Oh my god. There is a tiny friend, a little baby tiny friend that I knew, I knew my instinct was correct. And that is planted. It is I, that did not come made bag, for me. Planted. His name is Cheezers. No and I have that named him now. Come here, little buddy. Come here, little buddy. He's gonna. That was in my bag. I oh. was planted. He and I are one now. Like the kangaroo and the joey. We are one TSA <laughs> hamster agent. I hope I never meet another person like you in my life. I hope everyone you meet is a hamster in disguise. Well, on that note, I am, my work here is done. Clearly, can I please go? And I'm gonna say yeah. He says bye bye. Okay, you say bye bye. I'm gonna have to. This is the best day of my life. Let's do a little, a little pat down on this little dude. I gotta go. <laughs> oh my God. Him say bye bye.